Hello everybody, welcome back to Nick Plays Legend of Zelda Wind Waker. We're at the island that has the next, um... The next Triforce chart. I just found a glowing spire of light, which means... I, I gotta find, I gotta find Mr. Mr. Fish. So that's what I'm doing. Yeah, there's a... Oh, there he is. Hello, Mr. Fish. This is what we gotta do. Because, like, I can't... I don't know what the what the island looks like or what the island name is. It'll make sense in a second. Because we're gonna go grab that treasure. I don't know what it is. It could be one of the special charts. I actually looked this up. I was like, okay, what are the special charts in the game? Because, like, we got the incredible chart. We got the tingle chart. We got the beetle chart. I got the platform chart uh, off camera. I'm like, okay, what else is there? Well, apparently there's the, uh, there's a big, the big octo chart, the fairy chart or the, the great fairy chart. There's the ghost ship chart. That one we, we do need because that will let us get onto the boat. Uh, when, yeah, that one we will get. There's the submarine chart. The secrets chart, which has like the secret, like little, like, uh, kind of like what we did to get the last Triforce chart. There's like a little dungeon with a bunch of enemies. That's yeah. There's stuff like that. So I was like looking that up. I'm like, okay, cool. Where are we? Birds peak rock. Okay. What's he going to say? He's going to say something about the triumph forks. The golden triumph forks. They're here. And then or at least the chart leading to them. I'm really hoping I don't need a pair for this. If I need a pair, I'm not going to be happy. Oh, well. So, I'll show you. Uh, yeah, so you got the platform chart. It just shows you where there's platforms. We got the Triforce chart. Yeah, it must be interpreted. Pretty sure it's this one, yeah. So, like, you can swap over and you can, like, look at what the different islands look like. I am going to quickly collect that because I have a feeling it's going to be something good. Or something, at least. And it looks like I'm actually going to need to get onto that island somehow. This part is going to be super tedious, just cruising. The cruising part's always the worst. Like, I don't feel like changing the wind. Oh, look, you can see Thorn Fairy Island, or Thorn, yeah, Thorn Fairy Island. All right, so now if I go back to my sea charts, you can see exactly, like, on the treasure chart, shows you where you are. Right about here. We gotta do a lot of fishing. There we go. I don't remember if I if you guys saw me do uh chart hunting in this game yet. Maybe the one off Dragon Roost? I don't remember. But let's see. Piece of heart or five hundred rupees? Or is it another chart? Oh two hundred rupees. Silver rupee is two hundred rupees. Anyways, all right. Now that we got that out of the way. We're going to need a lot of rupees, unfortunately, because Tingle is greedy. All right, let's get out. Oh, right. To reach Thornfair, I'll head north from here. Okay, no one cares. 
So yeah, for this one, we actually do need to get the... Uh, I'm pretty sure we have to actually get to the... F the whatever they're called. Stop. Climb up. All the way. Climb up here. Blue Chew. Not bad. So yeah, we actually do need to grab... Oh, this is going to suck because there's going to be a switch up there that's going to unlock this door. Because yeah, that has the well to go down. So I'm going to go quickly... I'm going to go run and grab a, a pair or two. Maybe three. That sounds weird. I'm going to go grab some of the, the seagull pears and some more bait. So we'll be right back. Alrighty. So we're back. Thankfully, this island that we have to be at isn't far from uh, Forest Haven. And there's a beetle at Forest Haven. So I went there. As you can see, I have more money. Don't know how many of you guys were paying attention to that, but I decided to sell all my Boko Baba seeds and my, well, just about all. Almost all. I'll put it that way. Oh, that, you're cheap. Anyways, I sold all but one Boko Baba seed. And same with my green chew jelly and my red chew jelly. And you have to get quite a bit of money. Red chew jelly is only worth one rupee. Green chew jelly is worth two rupees. Boko Baba seeds, I think we're worth five. Yeah, because I sold 12 and I got 60. Anyways, I don't know if you guys saw me use a Huey pair before. This is where it gets interesting. So. Oh, I forgot about this. Hey, birds. That's one way to deal with them. I don't think I bought enough Shoy pairs. I bought three. And I was like, oh yeah, that's going to be more than enough. Did I get it? Come on. I definitely didn't buy enough, so I have to try to... I'm going to run out of arrows before I even get through this. Come on. Oh, so close. Whatever. Um, Let's try this again. Yeah, I bought... Do I have to activate all of them again, or... I hope not. Oh no, yeah, it's yellow. So they have to just be turned white. Come on. That's the last one of those rocks. And it's going to get me, isn't it? Come on. Oh, no, there's another rock here. Oh, 
I got one more of these things to activate. Where is it? Come on. It's this one, isn't it? Oh, it's this one. Come on. There we go. Okay. So that is how you do that. My gosh, I hate flying the things. Seagulls. All right. So here's... Yeah, come back here. Um, if this is going to be anything like the last one, we're going to need this. Oh, boy. So we're going to try to finish this. It's going to take a little bit longer than I thought. Okay, I don't know what this is. Oh. I thought this was going to be a lot harder. Nope, that was super easy. And you'll see why in a second, because like literally, well, you can see why. If you guys watched the last episode, you'll know why. This is literally it. Give me all the rupees, because I'm going to need these. So, with the last one, the challenge was you had to defeat certain enemies. This one, is, it was literally just hit those things and you're good. So that made it super easy. Which means now we got to go to the next one. I think I might stop by Bomb Isle off camera. And grab another bottle, because there is a bottle. There's a submarine at Bomb Isle, and in the submarine there's a bottle. There you go. Can't read it for yourself, so you'll have to get it deciphered. Also, I found out... Uh, with the incredible chart, once you what so once you decipher the Triforce chart, what it will actually correspond on the incredible chart where it is. So you can just use the incredible chart and find it. So that's cool. But with that, we're gonna end that episode there. We're gonna continue this next time. Uh we'll be at the next island. Yeah, we'll be at the next island with or whatever with the with the Triforce chart. So Stay tuned for that. Make sure you guys follow my socials and my Twitch for more content. Make sure you guys stay tuned for more Legend of Zelda. Just stay tuned for Legend of Zelda. Legend of Zelda is great. Yeah. Stay tuned for that. And make sure you guys play through this game. Tell me what your favorite dungeon was here. So far, I gotta say it was... Tower of the Gods, honestly. Or actually even Drag Dragon Roost was probably my favorite dungeon on this one. Because I didn't like the Forest Haven. I don't like the stuff with the Deku Leaf. So Forest Haven and Air Temple are out of there. Earth Temple's out of there because of Medley with the Mirror Shield. The Mirror Shield stuff is cool, but Medley just, it's annoying. Yeah, Tower of the Gods, then Dragon Roost. So, so far. I'm pretty sure we still have Ganon's Castle later. Anyways, stay tuned for more, and I will see you guys in the next episode. Bye-bye.